Can you expand on the five bond cult groups and the psychic pope? The five bond groups in the POD each act alike a political party within the global government of Atlantis as a psychic democracy. Each bond party member is associated with one of the five platonic solids and issued a role among the bench of five masters in an elemental lodge and among the bench of five senators whenever the Atlantean Senate convenes by combining these five elemental lodges. In lodge, the oldest of the bond groups reigns, but in Senate, the youngest of them rules. That is to say that nowadays, the group called within the POD, the Essene Zealots, play the role of Grand Master in the Elemental Lodges, because they are the eldest, and that, within the Senate, the Bund group called in the POD, the Bohemian Camp, sit in the area chairs above the rest who remain benched, because they are the youngest of these cults. In modern times, the Essene Zealots branch corresponds to the York Rite Freemasons, and the Bohemian Camp title belongs to the Ordo Templi Orientis. However, it should be noted that at one time, 2,000 years ago, the Essene Zealots were the equivalent to the modern OTO. That is to say, they were the youngest among the five bun sects. Just so, at a time some 2,000 years hence, should we not blow ourselves up first, the Bohemian camp of the OTO will be the oldest group among the Bund then, and some other, as of yet entirely unforeseeable group, will arise as the youngest party. Each of the Bund parties occupies each of the five bond roles for 500 years before rolling over into the next slot down. So, from 1,500 years ago, the group called in the POD, the Knights Zion, began. From 1,000 years ago, the group called the Regal Rosicrucians. From 500 years ago began the Illuminati Golden Dawn group, and nowadays we have the OTO as reformed 100 years ago by Crowley. <clears throat> While the role of a Lemurian pope as laid out regarding an Atlantean democracy format for government is, has always been, and always will be voluntary and by election. The roles in the order of death of an inner head of the order, an IHO, and an outer head of the order, an OHO, have been continuous for at least so long as written history has existed to keep track of them. So if Yeshu ben Padia was an IHO, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, an OHO, and so Hassan e Sabah, an IHO, and Hugh D. Pienz, an OHO, Jacques de Molay in IHO, and so Trithemius in OHO, and John D. in IHO, and so Roger Bacon in OHO, and Adam Weishaupt in IHO, and so Eliphas Levy in OHO, and Crowley in IHO, of the Psychic Order of Death, and so on. So in a sense, all these people held the role of Pope of the POD during their times, and this itself was an honorific often belonging to more than one person at once. In this order of death system, it is assumed all willing participants are also informed telepaths, that is to say, by any means, initiates. However, there is room left open for people to hold the office of Pope of the POD, not just without knowingly being psychic, but without realizing they are manifesting as such. Someone who does not know they are psychic is called a member of the cult of sleep in the POD's circles, 
and called a member of the public in Atlantean democracy. When such a person becomes a pope in the POD's circles, they may be unable to read the minds of others, but everyone else can easily read their mind. As there are, thus, five bond groups whose IHO and OHO popes of the order of death arise every 500 years or so, they entirely reset once about every eon or span of 2,000 years, insofar as that the seasons of the popes may be a useful document to study as well. <laughs>